Hey there. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at another deck of cards. These are the Jurassic Park official playing cards from Illusionist in collaboration with Universal Studios. Uh, these are actual licensed Jurassic Park cards, and we are going to go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, you can get these on Illusionist website, available now. Let's see what we got. Uh, front of the tuck case here, so you've got the big, bold Jurassic Park, just the classic logo there. The official playing cards at the bottom. Uh, has this metal, weathered, rusty, kind of splotchy background here. Very naturalistic look. And then the red um, ribbons of color running through it. Uh, it actually has a very slight texture to it. So you can see it there. It's a naturalistic um, water droplets almost texture. So gives it a nice little feel to it. Uh, sides of the tuck case, you got Jurassic Park on this side with Established 93, which I believe is 1993 when the book was written. There you go. And other side, Jurassic Park logo again, Style 29, which is I have no idea what. Uh, bottom, standard ad copy for Illusionist and Universal. And top has the T-Rex uh, silhouette there. Back, this is the coolest part of the tuck case. Uh, it has the same Jurassic Park logo, but this time it's been slashed through with three uh, raptor claws. And you can see that actually does go clear through that first layer of the tuck case and into the red inner tuck below. So there you go, that is the tuck case. Uh, one of the unique uh, slash annoying things about this tuck case is how it opens. So you'll see here, you can see where it's perforated down through here, across the front, and then back up here, and then it just pivots back this way. So it opens like this. Uh, these were actually really hard to open when I first got it. I actually personally took a razor blade and cut all the perforations just to make it a little bit easier to open. But that is what it is. Uh, you do have a little inner tuck case here that uh, you can pull out. I haven't pulled that out, but you can, uh, but I'll just grab the cards out of it. So don't love the tuck case, but that is what it is. Here is the back design of the cards. Has a classic scene from the park. My first impression with this was just too busy, too many colors. Over time, this actually grew on me. I like it. It's very different, nostalgic kind of look uh, compared to a lot of Dexa cards that I've got. But let's go into it in more detail. So you've got the Jurassic Park arches there. You've got four dinosaurs. You have a T-Rex, uh, Triceratops. You've got a Velociraptor. Um, and then the Brachiosaurus there. Oh, you actually have a Pterodactyl there at the top. And then you've got just some other little bits from the park, like the green car going through there. Uh, it is a very cool, you see that same scene reflected on the bottom. That said, even though the scene here is completely reflected, this is not a... Uh, two-way back design. One of the annoying features of this deck uh, is that. So you'll see, you know, just an example, right? The dark shading here, a little bit dark here, completely light on the bottom. So you'll see differences in the color. Um, not a big deal, but it does show up when you fan. You know, for example, you'll see here, just a little bit of a dark stripe there, but if I fan it this way, I've got dark stripes here and here. So it does fan a little bit differently depending on how you do it. Um, and as you flip the cards, the fans are going to look less nice if they're not all aligned. A little bit annoying. Uh, and, you know, another one of the knocks of the deck. Uh, let's jump into the cards themselves. And as usual, we'll start with the extra cards. Here are your two ad cards. Uh, one illusionist with, I think that's a raptor going through the jungle there. And then another one, when dinosaurs ruled the earth and has the T-Rex looking, looking down and kind of baring its teeth there. So kind of cool from the movie scenes there. And then your two Jokers. So this is an Adam that was featured in the first movie. I don't know if it was any of the other ones, but it was in the first movie. Uh, in the visitor center when you first got to the park, they had a little educational movie that told you all about how they cloned the dinosaurs. And this was the, this was the character in that movie that was giving you all that background. Uh, so a little bit of a nod to the movie there. Kind of a cute little Joker. That said, I don't think it fits all that great with the rest of the tone of the deck, having this one cartoony element. But it is what it is. Kind of a cool little nod to the movie. Uh, the rest of the cards. So here's the Ace of Spades. It says Jurassic Park at the top. Has your black spade with the orange uh, border around it. I think that looks nice. 
Um, the middle of it has a scene, uh, again, a scene from the movie. This is a mosquito trapped in a block of amber and what they use to extract the DNA for dinosaurs. Um, don't love that. You're not gonna see a lot of scenes from the movie other than those two ad copy cards. This is pretty much the only card that has it. So I don't love that they threw that kind of randomly in on one, but it is what it is. Uh, the pips themselves are fairly normal. So not much, not much to speak of there. Uh, you do have this sort of weathered look again all the way through the cards. You've got that kind of coloration and every single card is, is unique in the weathering, which I think is a nice touch. Gives it a very organic natural, or a little bit more of a natural feel to the weathering. Um, there are your court cards. All your court cards are going to be fossils of the skulls of the different, uh, of some of the different dinosaurs. And you'll see it tells you a little bit about what the dinosaur is and what age they were from. So Dilophosaurus uh, from the Cinemurian age. Go over here, you've got the T-Rex in the, there you go, Cretaceous period and on through. So pips themselves, fairly standard, nothing really to speak of there, but you do get your kind of cool court card as your Triceratops and so on. No, no real difference between the green and, or the black and the red cards other than, other than the pips in the corner, but no different coloration or anything like that to the, to the fossils. And that is about it for the interesting parts of the deck. Uh, what about how it handles? So it is a Cardamundi B9 stock. Uh, you can probably see some of that finish there. So it's not an air cushion, it's a little bit different. Uh, Cardamundis are typically, or the B9 specifically, is typically a much thicker card. You'll feel that right away when you get this. It's a little bit thicker and heavier. Uh, it does still fan absolutely beautifully. I think these actually look really, really nice in a fan. Uh, just that thin border and that little bit of color coming through there looks really nice. Um, it's gonna look a little bit different depending on which way you fan it. So you'll see you get a little bit more of the dark there. Again, a function of it not being a two-way back design. Uh, still annoys me every time I see that, but it looks nice as long as you have everything aligned. Uh, it cuts well, uh, all the things you'd expect. So it's, it's a nice handling deck of cards. Uh, a little bit on the stiff, stiffer side, you know, especially if you're used to some of the thinner stock. Uh, but still, handles pretty nicely. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. I got some of the cards turned around, so there you go. You can see right away the, the differences there. Um, it is a deck that absolutely grew on me over time. There are things I like, things I don't like. I actually ended up liking the back design. I like how they handle. I'm a, I'm a fan of the B9 stock. I think it, it handles pretty nicely. Um, things I didn't like, you know, the Ace and the two Jokers really did not fit in with the rest of the design of the deck to me. I wish they'd done a one-way back design, or a two-way back design instead of this one-way, subtle one-way back design. Or at least if they've gone for a one-way back design, just kill it, forget it, make it completely one-way. Don't make it mostly one-way. And then the Tuck Case. Not a big fan of Tuck Cases opening this way. I wish they'd just kind of gone with a classic Tuck Case. Um, maybe with those slashes in the back, which I do think are cool. Um, all in all, interesting deck to check out. If you're a fan of the movie, it's a good nostalgic blast to have something like this. Um, so worth checking out. You can get these on Illusionist. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, that is all I've got for this review. Thanks for watching, and I will see you for the next one.